Did you get a new phone recently? Well, we're all guilty of this when it comes to new cell phones, and Stephen Jackson may be guilty of it too. Stephen, holding on to those boxes, right? Yeah, uh, actually, I have a few laying around I the house. Too. It's weird. I don't know why. Very unusual. But you know, when you get a new iPhone, uh, you, you know, you embrace the whole unboxing situation. Yeah. But a lot of people uh, have been doing this. It's trending when it comes uh, to keeping your phone. Uh, well, keeping that empty box. Now, as CNN's Jeannie Moose tells us, it's all about how the box is being used. A new iPhone may be... What a lot of you have been waiting for. But you know what may outlive that phone? Back to the box. The empty box iPhone box began trending thanks to this taunting tweet. I don't know who needs to hear this, but throw away that box your iPhone came in. You don't need it. You will never need it. Oh, yeah? iPhone box hoarders came out of the closet, posting photos of the box being used as a drawer divider, transformed into wall art featuring boxes from various Apple products. Someone even turned an iPhone box into a gaming joystick controller. Sure, the phone itself might have fancy features like liquid retina display and touch ID, but the empty box can be used to stash your pipe and weed paraphernalia. Noted someone posting a similar photo, iPhone and Android users aren't so different after all. Lovingly opened. Deplastified. One fan praised it as the pinnacle of cardboard box design. Those online unboxing reviews tend to treat the box easily the slimmest looking iPhone box ever. As itself worthy of critique. You can see the outline of the phone, which is actually a really cool thing. Empty iPhone boxes are even sold on eBay, averaging eight to ten dollars a piece iPhone empty boxes are ideal for resellers reselling the actual phone. There is literally life after death for the iPhone box. It is the perfect fit for a departed rodent. My gerbil died, homies cough in an iPhone box. Rest in peace, bro. Or how about as a coffin for my son's hermit crab? We used one for my hamster. The iPhone itself may go extinct, but the box has an afterlife. Ginny Mose, CNN, New York. Okay, so who would have thought that folks were actually reselling the box? People will buy anything. Yeah, you know, and that's the reason I think we do keep our box, just in case we want to resell the phone or whatever. So we've got, I don't know. We, we don't update our phones all that often, though, Stephen. I've got, I've got a pretty <laughs> old one here. So... We don't have a ton of those boxes, Listen. but that's why we keep them, just in case we I don't, need to... I don't know why I keep the boxes. I, I think it's because Apple products are so expensive, I feel like I pay for the box yes. for some reason. And that might be the attachment, because I still have, like, AirPod Pro, like, box, mm -hmm. uh, the box laying around, the MacBook box still laying around. Still laying so around. I think it's just the money that's spent that draws me, because I'm not decorating <laughs> anything. No, 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 no. I'm not putting it on my walls or anything, or, or storing other things in there, um, whatever. But maybe you could sell yours on, on uh, eBay or Amazon. And hey, listen, if, if someone out there will buy it, yeah. I'll, maybe, I'll maybe you should look into that, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, interesting stuff.